Reese, just your general analytical and emotional reaction to this story, which culminates in uh, Pat Fitzgerald getting terminated. John, I'm shocked by it. And as long as I've been around this sport, not much surprises me anymore. But had someone come to me the day before this story broke and said, there's about to be a story in the sport that involves hazing of a sexualized nature, and it's going to be you know, fairly rampant and known within the program. Give me six guys that you can guarantee it's not happening in their program. Pat Fitzgerald would have been on that list. Um, it doesn't comport with what I've known of Pat over the years, yet uh, the idea that this was uh, not a secret in nature, that, uh, that members of the football program for years and years had some knowledge of it, whether they thought it was something that was harmful or playful, is sort of a... Uh, doesn't matter at all. I'm really surprised that it was going on at Northwestern and, you know, really shocked that it got to this point. You know, I would like to have seen Northwestern be a little bit more forthcoming in the details of what that independent investigation unveiled. What exactly does it mean that the coaching staff had opportunity to know but didn't? Does that mean they turned a blind eye, which is unforgivable? Or does it mean that just because you're in charge, you're supposed to know everything, which is a much different standard to hold anyone to, yet when you're in charge of a program, you are responsible to some degree uh, for everything that happens uh, under your watch. Right. College football coaches, as you know, they're basically presidents, GM, you know, play, director of player personnel, and head coach. They're the whole thing. Um, so what happens when this happens? You know, the reverberations in the Northwestern football program, any program, how do you recover from this? You know, what are the steps that Northwestern goes through as the season is, you know, a little more than a month away? It's almost impossible because that's an extraordinarily difficult place to win to begin with. Mm. I think it's, uh, you know, something they've had maybe five, ten win season. And Pat Fitzgerald has been part of four of them, either as a player in the 90s or as a coach three times. Even under Pat Fitzgerald, they've had some terrible seasons, most notably last year. I don't know how they recover because they have to find a leader who can, who understands Northwestern, can instill some of the values of the things that work well while avoiding some of the, the pitfalls. You know, you brought up an interesting point about coaches being CEOs, GMs, player personnel directors and everything. Even if coaches don't know because of that very thing that you mentioned, that does raise the bar for them in terms of their responsibility because they are the ones who brought the players into the program who uh, perpetuated this uh, uh, alleged culture of hazing, which, you know, according to what we've been told and read, dates back for quite some quite some time. And obviously, I understand there's a, a very different perspective among some players on what how they viewed this uh, this part of the Northwestern program. But I think it's obvious that now it has been extraordinarily damaging and and has really wrecked Northwestern for the present and foreseeable future.